Hey guys, Alex here from AlexVegas.com. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick mini review of the Mito Pro Mito Red Light. Be sure to subscribe because I will be publishing a deep, deep dive review of the same panel where I go into all sorts of metrics and, and comparisons and, and criticisms. But in this video, I wanna keep it nice and short. Now, I've been using this panel for a few weeks now. I'm very familiar with it. I've tested it with all sorts of meters, my electro smog meter, uh, spectrometer, and all sorts of things. So I've got some interesting insights, and I do have to say that, yes, I think this panel is exceptionally good value and does everything well, every, all the main stuff very, very well. So let's get into it. What do you need to know about this panel? Well, it comes from a company by Mito Red Light. Now, Mito Red Light are based in the States. They've been around for a few years now. In fact, their original series, are the Mito Red Mega, I think it was called, placed second in my 2019 body panel comparison. Since then, they have released two new product ranges, the Mito Mod, which is their mid-tier mid product range, and this new Mito Pro range, which is the top, top, uh, top product range with a few bells and whistles. In that top range, this 1500 is the biggest panel that they sell. This particular unit has 300 LEDs, they are 5 watt LEDs, and it emits four different wavelengths. Now, we'll come back to that soon. The Mito Pro, the top range, has a few more bells and whistles. It allows modular capability, so you can attach two or three more panels to it. Uh, it has an inbuilt control panel and a timer, so it makes things nice and easy in terms of operation and, and knowing how long your treatment has gone from. It does have a refresh design, which makes it nice and modern looking, I guess. Um, otherwise, cosmetically, there's nothing too extraordinary to report on. It's the internals that really matter here, the internals and the price. So. It does have 5 watt LEDs. Now the full wavelengths it emits are 630, 660, 830 and 850. Now this is better than your typical 660 and 850. And even better than that, Mito Red have evenly split these wavelengths. 25% power is going to each of those wavelengths. Most companies that use multi-wave um, panels that have you know multiple, multiple wavelengths mainly have 5 or 10% of power going to some of these uh, lesser known, uncommon frequencies. So Mito Red have bucked the trend there and I've evenly split it. However, in my testing, and remember all of this will be in my full video, in my testing I found that they don't actually, the Mito Pro doesn't actually emit much power at 630. Instead it was 645 and 660. So there is a bit of a discre discrepancy there. Everything else though was good. From a power irradiance point of view, this panel did test really good. I have tested uh, panels that have put out more, higher power, but it was still up there. We were looking around 40s, mid 40s uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared for a red light, and mid 40 to high 40s in the uh, near infrared light. So good numbers, but again, I have seen higher. But still, they were solid. From a price point of view, this is where the Mito Pro really shines. You can buy this unit for under $1,200. If you use discount code Alex, it brings the price down to $1,092 US dollars. Discount code Alex will save you 5%. Shipping is free in America. You do pay a little bit if you are in Australia or the UK, around a hundred bucks, which is, you know, it's up there, but hey, this is a big panel. So uh, it is justified, I guess. From a value point of view, this panel is the best value I've tested so far out of four or five panels to date. Um, it came out to be $8 per watt of power irradiance. Now, if you're wondering what that means, head over to alexfergus.com. I'll be doing a big buyer's guide over there explaining all this and comparing all these panels. And uh, also be sure to check out my full review where I do go into this in a lot more data. But in a nutshell, it means that so far, this is probably the best value uh, panel on the market. Sure, it may be missing some of those more advanced controls and bells and whistles and technologies that other panels have, but from an all-round point of view, it's really hard to beat. Has great EMF levels, it tested safe in all, in all areas of EMF, and it also has a three-year warranty, good support, a 60-day trial period with no restocking fee if you change your mind and you want to send it back. Like I said, it's, that's really hard to beat. As for my quick likes and dislikes, well, from a dislike point of view, like I said, the international shipping is a little bit higher. Uh, it does miss out on 810 nanometer, which is a wavelength that I do like, especially for brain health. So that is a bit of a bit of a bummer. It doesn't incorporate that. It doesn't have some of those advanced features like uh, inbuilt grips or touchscreen control panels. But given the price, I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker. As for what I do like about this panel, well, like I said, it's got exceptional power. It's got the best value metrics that I've tested in any panel to date. And overall, it ticks the boxes across the board. 
It looks good, it's easy to set up, it's easy to operate, it's got a good warranty, uh, it's safe, low EMF levels, you've got a couple of wavelengths, not just your 660 and 850, you get a nice even spread, the hot spot testing I did on this panel was really good as well. Um, so yeah, this is why I really do like this panel, and I think it's going to be a panel that's going to do well in my upcoming 2021 body panel comparison. So be sure to hit subscribe to see that video, and be sure to check out my full review on this panel, uh, which will be published anytime soon. Finally, if you do want to buy this panel, head over to mitoredlight.com and be sure to use discount code Alex. It will save you 5% and it will help me continue putting out content like this. If you have any questions, leave them below.